Hello and welcome to another video of ClickView Training, video number 9 of ClickView Training by Bharti DW Consultancy. In this video, we are going to talk about statistics boxes and multi box. Let's create a new sheet here and add statistics box. I can add statistics box in here. And in the field settings, select same amount. This box, the statistics box, is used for analysis at multiple places. I have my personal experience in which I have seen that clients use these boxes or statistics box to analyze various, you know, uh, KPIs or various fact measures for various different type selections. We will see how to do it. So in this case, we have selected sales amount. We have total count, some average, min, max. Let's add standard deviation and median to it. And I click, you can see here, yeah, you can say stats on sales amount. Let's add few parameters on which we drive this statistic. Right click and let's list boxes. Here I would add country. Let me add one more. Let's add product category. Let's add one more uh, list box. Let's add here. So I've added three dimensions and let's, so let's arrange it. Okay, so here we go. We have country, year, and product category. If I click on US, you can see the sales amount, total count, sum average deviation changing for this US. If I say UK, you can see that there and product category 2 and 3 are only valid for UK and you can see the sales amount and sales quantity. Please remember that ClickView has an associative property and that's why each and every data item or objects are linked. Now, if you look at it, as the values of country, year and product category grow, the whole sheet would become kind of clunky. In order to have a nice selection, we will use a multi box. You can add a multi box by right clicking and go to multi box here and add in the order you want to display. So let's add here. So country, product category, and year, which I'm going to display in the multi-box. Additionally, we can add, let's say, city and currency. You can see that even the multi-box is attached to all this. And that is why when I've selected UK, it's already coming as selected. So I clear this off. And there is no selection. I would select. India to start with, you can observe that the currency India INR is already in selection because that's the only currency valid for country India. If I click on year, uh, both the years are valid from data perspective. You can see 2010 selected, but product category one is automatically picked because that's the only product category valid for country India in the year 2010 and this box is automatically updated. Multiboxes, as I mentioned earlier, can be used as selection criteria when you have multiple dimensions on which you want to select values. And this could be a very strong tool in analyzing. I can replicate this, the same thing, using a chart. Let's do that. So right click added chart here click on next do not select anything 
click on next and in this value I can select sum of sales amount click on it. that's my first one I can have a label sum. next I can have count so I can say total count and sales amount I'm gonna add minimum let's add minimum now minimum of sales amount then let's add maximum of sales amount and stop there max of sales amount and this is added you can see it kind of looks like the the value but in, in a reverse order that's fine uh, we can see that I can clear all selections and this would match exactly to the values here I can detach uh, so if I select US you can see all the values across these two boxes have been changed but I want to keep this same always irrespective of what is selected in the other boxes so I say clear there's a property known as detach see here there's no property of detach in the statistics that's something which you have to remember at least I did not find it right click detach so you can see the word detached on the column header now if I set US you can see everything is changed except here so US has total sum at 100 but sum of all the countries put together is 22,900 right if I select 2010 for US 2010 it is the count is 6 but across all the countries all the year this would remain unchanged and that's the analysis which people do like to use a lot of times and you know this is a this is a great tool as you know for analysis visualization with that um end of this video and in the next set of videos we will go do the advanced concepts of click view like creating function sets uh set others security incremental loads and all the various other things. Happy learning.